The Patapsco River along Ellicott City's downtown was anything but threatening tonight, but with July's devastating flood in mind and multiple inches of rain forecasted across Maryland, Howard County officials are not taking anything for granted. I want everybody to know that we're not taking this lightly by any means. We're making sure that we're ready for it. Which means sandbags are strategically placed along Main Street homes and businesses, and storm drains are as clear as possible, despite those preparations. Anxious, yeah. Business owners like Jason McMillan are still crossing their fingers. His record in game store is like many here, construction sites still in recovery mode, almost two months after Main Street turned into a raging river. When I read like the news stories and you know, heard people talking about the rain coming. I was kind of like, not again. And McMillan lives above his store. He was able to come back home just two days ago. Anxiety could be the new normal in downtown Ellicott City whenever a heavy rain is in the forecast, but McMillan says he's here to stay. Things like this, like, you know, weather and like threats of floods and floods that happened in the past that caused destruction, um, they're setbacks, but the town is more than that. Meanwhile, the State Highway Administration says its crews have been cleaning and clearing stormwater drains in preparation uh, for this storm. It's also urging drivers to really pay attention to the forecast for the rest of the week. We're live in Ellicott City, George Lettuce, WBAL, TV 11 News. George, thank you. And you can get updates on the forecast and a look at what can ex you can expect in your neighborhood by using the WBAL-TV mobile app.